Hello everyone. So today's session is all about social sign-on with Salesforce. We'll see how we can use Facebook as a social sign-on provider in Salesforce. How, and we will see how we can use Facebook credential as a, as a sign-in uh, provider, right? We will use Facebook credential to sign into the Salesforce org. So let's see the action. So, so we have chosen this RTA UI org. In my case, I've chosen this org for demo purpose. So you can choose any org. So after you choose that org, you need to just type in auth provider here. Once you type in auth provider here, you will see a screen like this. So just click on the new button here. And in the drop down, you will see there are a lot of authentication providers listing down here. So these are basically the different authentication provider which you can use as an option to log into Salesforce. Since for this demo purpose, I'm using Facebook as a social sign on. So I will be using this particular option. So just select this, give a name here. Facebook, just this will auto populate and rest. You don't need to do anything. What you need to do here is just uh, rather you don't need to choose any class here. What you can do is just select this. You right and click on save button. So what that option will do is this will create a class for you, the backend and just choose a user here and click, click on save. Another thing that you can do here is you have an option here to choose the login icon. So there are a lot of standard icons available. So you can choose this icon, any of these icon, and just copy this URL and kind of paste it here and click on save. This is the only thing that you need to do. So once you save this, all this auto generated URL you will get, right? Another thing that you need to do after this is you need to ensure that my domain is enabled in the org in which you are setting up this. So in my case, in my case, the my domain is already enabled and uh, I need to add this as, as the provider, right? And then you need to go to this auth provider once again. And you see, this is the class which got generated. So just click on this class and uh, we have a code we will just use this we'll just use this code so just uh, just copy paste this code from here right and just go to this class and just paste this or replace this code with that code right so that's the only thing that you need to do. I will explain this code one by one, but let me first save this code. So what this code basically does is like if I paste this code right in a notepad plus plus and let me explain you what this code does. What you will see is in this class, right, which got auto generated. So this class is implementing auth registration handler, which is the out of the box interface. Now here we have, we are defining few static keywords here. So what happens is first it checks whether we, we need to create a user or not, right? So based on that, based on this check, if, if, if we can't create a user, then it's returning null. Then it checks two routes. Like if we are, if like there's an option or if we have the privilege to create the user, then it first checks this, this block, right? Now this block is for network ID that is this block is for communities. Like if you are configuring social sign on in community, then this will go to this block and this will execute. In our case, we will just use it in the login page of Salesforce. It will go to the else block and, and we will check, is there any uh, profile with name as standard user? It will basically find a profile, right? And it will try to create a user with that profile. Now to create the user, we have a method here where you, you can see it's simply giving the email that this data dot email will be nothing but your Facebook email. This will be the Facebook last name, Facebook first name, and this will be the alias, right? Which is a concatenation of first name and last name and all this informations, right? And at the end, you will get a username, which will be nothing but Facebook email suffered like appended by org suffix, right? This is the one. So this is how it will behave. So let me do one thing. So let's test this functionality out. Let me, log out of this org and this is the domain right so let me hit this domain so what we will do is we will click on this 
option login with facebook skin we are getting an error here right now which is error creating user duplicate username okay so this is the reason right so we we already have a user with this name so let's find out what that user is right it looks like we already have that user name so let me just change the logic a bit so what we will do is So what we'll do is this identifier, which is there, right? So let's change it to add something else, right? And save it. Let's try to test once again. So let's click on this, choose this option, right? So you can see right, right now this login screen is coming and that Facebook page, uh, the what do you call that Facebook sign in page is not coming because right now I've already signed in. So let me show you this one. If I log into an incognito window, right? It will be, will be a better uh, way to explain. So you see, once I click on the Facebook page, it goes to uh, this page, right? So, right, it goes to this page. And if I give my username of uh, Facebook, right? So, I give the username of Facebook, you see, this is right now, it's redirecting to the, uh, the org, right? So let me get the, uh, the notification code. Right, so if I just type in here, the verification code you will see it got successfully logged into this org right now if i go to the users tab right if i go to the users tab you will kind of see this user getting created in salesforce initially this user was not a present right so you you, you see i've already logged in as this user uh, and this user profile this is the user uh, the, the Facebook user with which I've logged in, right? So that this is that user which got created. So if I just go to the users tab, right? So you will see there are two users, right? Which is present. This was the original user uh, with which uh, before configuring the single sign on, I have logged in. And this is the newly created user which got uh, created via this. So you, you can see here, like if I open this record, right? You, you can see, if you remember, I have given the username i've appended the username with badge one so that is the username which is coming here and if you go to the third party account links right you will see here it got authenticated via facebook right so it's showing that here under the third party account link so if you want to revoke the access we can always do that and so these are the various things you will see we see the created data as today's date right so this shows like this uh, got created uh, via the social sign on route and since I have an admin, right, you will see this, all this lot of options here. You will see a login history here. So in this login history, you can see the, the entire history list of this user, right? So this is uh, the user which got created via Salesforce. So here you can see the Facebook authentication is there under the third party account links. And also it shows the history, the login history that how it got signed in, right? It shows it's a third party SSO, right? Which indicates that the user got successfully logged in. So this is how the social sign on works. This is very simple to configure like this. We can configure with other social sign on providers as well. Right. 
So this is the reference link. So there is a trailed module which you can refer to for configuring social side or right in your communities as well. And this is and the below one is basically the link to that that auto generated code that you need to use for creating the user in your role, right? So thank you. That's pretty much from my end about social sign-on.